Good evening, everyone. Welcome back. We are proud to present Jordan Jacobs with Veeam. Please help me give them a warm welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So I always like to start these the same way, and that's by talking about Veeam. Uh, I try not to drone on and on and on, but there's a handful of things I think is just too cool not to call out. You know, 267,000 customers, 15 million Veeam, VMs protected. All of that just talks about our growth and how widely adopted Veeam is. But that's not the number that I think is the most important. The most important number to me is a 73 net promoter score. Our customers absolutely love working with us, and that's a number that continues to keep rising. So that's the number that I like to call out. Obviously, we're in the leader quad uh, category of the Marge Quadrant, two years running. Obviously, we're on just a bunch of different lists. But what's so important is that not only are we growing, we're growing because customers love us, and they continue to want to wanna, to wanna do business with us. And that's why we have an industry-leading renewal rate as well. And if we talk about strategy for just a second, I promise I'm going to dive straight into to how we can leverage uh, Veeam and AWS. But if we talk about strategy for a second, Veeam's strategy is any app, any data on any cloud. And this is a really big deal. We're not talking necessarily about just a VM or an instance or, or, or something. We're, we're talking about the data. And that data lives in different places. It can live on-prem with, with your enterprise. It can live with a managed cloud provider, and Veeam certainly has thousands of them, tens of thousands of them. It can live in the public cloud, like AWS. But it can also live in software as a service, like Office 365. And Veeam is really that single point that you can back up all that different data and manage it in a single place. And that's really what we're trying to go for here. So you know, we're going to talk about a number of different types of uh, capability, right? We're going to talk about, um, we're going to talk about um, you know, DR as a service. We'll talk about infrastructure protection. We'll talk about, um, about within the cloud. But really, when we break down, when we break down our, our strategy here, it, it, it breaks into three categories. To the cloud, from the cloud, and within the cloud. And that's really what Veeam wants to leverage. Now, today we're going to talk largely about to the cloud. Right? We're going to talk about leveraging VTLs to take your data from on-prem and take advantage of the low-cost capability of Glacier. And you know, VTLs are really, really, really helpful because what it's doing is it's taking Glacier, which is a fairly you know, new technology, and it's presenting it in a way that your staff are already familiar with. And that's a really big deal, because what we want to do when we make innovative change is we want to find a way to make that change without drastically changing the way that our staff is, is used to doing things. And so the way that this works is the VTL is deployed on-premise and on any server on-premise. And we, they, they, have, uh, you know, they have images for Hyper-V. They have images for, um, for VMware. And it connects to Veeam. And Veeam sees this as just a, a tape repository. It doesn't know that it's any different. It doesn't know that it lives in, in the cloud. And the thing that's really interesting about the VTL is VTL is caching that data locally. And this is a big deal. Because when, when I write to tapes, tapes are really slow. But using the VTL, I can put whatever disk I want behind that tape. So my writing speed is significantly faster. So data is written through Veeam into the storage gateway, and it's automatically sent up into the cloud. And you know, this allows customers to have very quick, very low latency recoverability because the data is local until the point that you ex export it. And the most important piece here is the, the cost savings. And you know, I, I, everybody talks about the cost savings, and they say, well, you know, Glacier is 4 tenths of a cent. And, and it is. Glacier is an unbelievable uh, reduction in cost. However, you know, I think one of the most interesting things to me is how durable the data is that gets moved off to the cloud. And so everybody says, well, I'm going to put it into tape. I'm going to put it into tape because I need that data. I need that data for, comp for compliance. I need that data for long-term archive. Well, AWS actually commissioned a study. I think this is one of the most fascinating statistics I've heard on when it comes to tape, because honestly, tape is kind of boring. Um, AWS commissioned this, this incredible study, and they said, OK, well, how, how durable is tape? How, you know, how, how, what's the likelihood that I'm going to have a corrupted tape? And they said, if you, could, if you put your data on two separate tapes, and put those in the same room somewhere off site, your durability is five nines, right? Which sounds like a really big number. 
if you were to take those two tapes and put them into two separate rooms, right, your durability goes to six nines. Well, how does that compare with Amazon? Amazon is 11 nines. It is just crazy to me to think about that I can take, I can take a single file, upload it, and it's going to be over double as durable as taking two separate tapes, putting them in two separate rooms in two separate places. And that's really what this is about. This is about lowering our cost of operations, taking those tapes, bringing them to a place that is significantly more durable, and doing it for, for a lower cost. And you know, we, have we have dozens of customers that are doing this today. In fact, in the last four months, we've had 500 new customers launch VTLs with Veeam to, take those, to get rid of those tapes and bring their, their backups into the cloud. And one of the examples to, to talk about here is Southern Oregon University. Southern Oregon had a really hard time dealing with their tapes. Their tape machines kept breaking, and they, they just needed another solution. So the, the, the Veeam and the AWS teams worked with them. They switched them over to the VTL solution, and they were so happy they actually published this with Amazon, and this is available uh, publicly on, on the website. So pivoting from the VTL for a few minutes, I want to talk a little bit about some of the future things that we've announced and it's coming very, very, very soon. Um, there's two major, major use cases. The first is Veeam availability for AWS. This is a really exciting, exciting opportunity because our customers are, don't just have instances that are running inside of their on-prem location. They also have stuff that's running up in the cloud natively, and that's what a lot of people who are here today are, are have. Our new version has incredible agent management capability. So when you create a VM, our, our, our software will automatically see that VM, it'll put it inside of our system, log into it, download the agent, install the agent, and everybody goes, well, whoa, 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 why are we doing agents? Well, the thing about agents is agents enable application awareness. Without agents, we don't know what's running on the, so on the server or on the instance. And this is a major issue. Whenever you do a snapshot, you're just snapshotting a point in time. That data could be corrupted, and we don't know what that rate is doing. We also don't know if it's part of a cluster and how to do active passive failover so that we can recover clusters appropriately. Agents enable us to do all that. But the problem with agents is they're really hard to manage. So, so Veeam's, you know, Veeam's slogan forever had been, it just works, and that's what we're doing again. The server gets created. The agent gets installed automatically, it gets updated automatically, it gets backed up automatically, and it gets pushed out to tape, which is, as we talked about, Glacier, automatically. And so we're starting to see customers line up to leverage this technology to make those backups easier to manage. And look, I'm the first person to tell you, I love, absolutely adore AWS, and I adore their capabilities to script and code. And there's nothing that I'm showing you today that you can't do inside of AWS natively. However, what's really important to understand is how, you know, what we want to do here is we want to make it so that you're, you, can you can respond to compliance and you can show those backups, you can show the logs, and we want to make it easy. And really that's what this is about, is making those backups easier to manage. The second thing that I want to talk about today is VMware Cloud on AWS. So I, was part of, I went to the keynote today, they stood up and they talked about VMware Cloud for AWS. Um, one of the most exciting things that's happening right now as enterprises are trying to migrate actually to the cloud. But the problem is, is that you can't just move your workloads to the cloud without everything that surrounds it. You have to have security, you have to have networking, you have to have storage, and most importantly, you have to have things like backup. And, VM, and uh, Veeam is actually one of the only companies that now supports this latest technology. So with, with Veeam for AWS, or sorry, with Veeam Availability Suite for VMware Cloud and AWS, you have the ability to take those, those VMs, back them up off of the VMware for AWS, and move them to EC2 instances, and move them to EBS volumes, and protect those workloads that are running in that VMware Cloud. And that's a really, really big deal, because if you're planning on moving to this technology, it's super important that we have a way to actually protect that workload. And so these are just two of the things that are coming in a very, very recent patch. It's called Update 3. Should be released in the next couple weeks. And more, just as a, interesting, at our booth, 322, every single day we just gave one of these away. We are giving away a drone, a DJI Spark, every single day. So stop by the booth. We are literally right over there. 
put your name in. It's very easy to register. And we'll, uh, we'll get you entered for the drawing. And with that, thank you guys so much.